Now, Delta State Governor Ifanyo Kowa inaugurated the newly appointees of his Executive Council at the Government House in Asaba. The appointees are Secretary to the State Government, Patrick Oka, Chief Economic Advisor, Kinsley Emu, and eight Special Advisors. But speaking at the event, Governor Ifanyo Kowa says he expects every appointee to show commitment to their work for a better Delta. They will present a different kind of challenges, but I have always been impressed by Oka's willingness to learn and ability to adjust quickly to situations. It is therefore my expectation that he will justify the confidence reposed on him with this appointment. I must also pay growing tributes to Dr. Kinsley Emo, who is an appointed or reappointed as the Chief Economic Advisor. He's been the big brain behind our policies and I'll continue to cherish his advice and I hope that in these last two years, he will continue to put in his best to ensure that we truly finish strong. Governor Ifanyo Koa of Delta State, South South Nigeria, speaking there. Well, for the latest development in the state, we now cross live to Asaba, the Delta State capital, where Kinsley Emu, the chief economic advisor to the Delta State government, joins us. Thank you so much for joining us, and I think congratulations are in order as you're one of the new appointees. Thank you. Well, it's been six years of the Okoa administration, and I think a good place to leave it is uh, events that have just happened in the last 24 hours or so. There's been yet another attack on a police formation in the state, although uh, security operators were able to repel, no life was lost there. And we all know unemployment is one of the bane of insecurity. Although the latest data from the MBS shows that your state has seen some improvement uh, from the last data re released on unemployment, what is Delta State doing to create more jobs? Mr. Emu, can you hear me? Should I repeat the question? Yes, I can hear you now. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead if you had my question. Yes, please do. Okay, so I was basically asking okay, you yes, about heard, the relationship it. between insecurity and unemployment. As, and as the chief economic advisor to the government, what is the plan to create more jobs for Deltans? Uh, that's um, a very big challenge, but we have been able to wade through that um, entire course. What we have tried to do, I don't know, what we have tried to do over time is to ensure that um, most of the villages that have all turned urban now as a result of major infrastructures, that people are working in very secure areas. Where you probably have a lot of challenges will be in the area of uh, farming, rural subsistence farming. But we've also ventured into commercial farming. As I speak to you, well over 34,000 hectares of oil palm plantation. It's, um, it's a deal that has just been almost closed with the Central Bank of Nigeria. That's about 45 billion guarantee that the state is going to come up with. And that means that well over 212 beneficiaries, 212 beneficiaries who are direct participants on that, on that program uh, will be there. And the spin-off effect is well over 27,000 in terms of job creation. Um, most of our stepreneurs and yagapreneurs uh, which are coinages for uh, describing uh, youths in um, technical and vocational education and then in agriculture. Um, they have done pretty well and are expanding. They are all working in rural areas that have turned urban, like I said, and we are creating more of those. We have also expanded the MDAs who are, who are directly involved in the expansion of job creation, especially through skill acquisition and empowerment in the entire rural areas. For instance, the youth development is focused on 80%, 90% uh, of uh, the focus. It's in words, in the, in, the, in the 270 words that comprise, that make up Delta State. And they are working in those areas. The, the, the commissioner, the Ministry of Women Affairs, is also fully addressing the uh, women in the rural areas to be able to get to 
you know, the desired effect. So um, we, are, we are addressing that from all fronts, and then we are, we are very sure that um, over time we shall overcome. We are also moving into commercial agriculture. We are working with Northworthy, uh, with Northworthy agro, -industri uh, agro, um, agro allied industries. So much is being done to ensure that most of our people who hit at all will have been uh, forests that have been used as uh, uh, hideouts for headsmen and vandals have been converted for commercial use. And the communities are getting aware and, and doing enough sufficient donations to ensure that we turn the bend. So we are, um, as a matter of fact, uh, doing all of those. I tell you what, uh, this government has awarded well over 799 uh, road projects. It has, it has also, and that has implication for 1,577.8 kilometers length of road and 908.8 kilometers uh, length of drains. We have, over the period, uh, started work on 21 bridges. Um, six have been completed. And then we have, in the last six years, directly empowered over 100,000 uh, created jobs for over 100,000 people directly, and 10,000 of them are entrepreneurs. And over a million of Deltans have also been empowered through the interventions in the various areas of uh, uh, road infrastructure, school infrastructure, and all the numerous infrastructures. We're also creating very many centers today. We're creating leisure parks. We're creating uh, programs that will uh, engage, engage the youth um, um, in every facet of, of life that we have. We have 19, 19 technical colleges that are in the works. As we speak to you, uh, nine of them are under construction. And then six, six have been in existence for some time. So with 19 technical colleges coming on stream to join in addition to the six technical colleges, you will agree with me that um, we are creating enough sufficient uh, jobs for the youth. So in subsistence agriculture, some will suffer. I tell you, for instance, in 2018, our, 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 our GDP uh, on, on agriculture dipped to 9.4%. But in 2019, it surged back to 13%. In 2018, it was as a result of okay. uh, Hessman uh, challenges, uh, Hessman challenges, and also the okay, perennial uh, flood. Mr. Kinsley, it, it's so, good to hear uh, you mentioning yeah, an array yes. of opportunities. You've clearly diversified because I was thinking you'd focus on the oil. But as the chief economic advisor, um, and it's no secret that you inherited uh, an economy that was, um, you say, hamstrung by issues of transparency and embezzlement. Um, what have you done to inject more transparency in the system? And in terms of the fact that we, you've also inherited a dwindling uh, economy on the back of oil, doing a nosedive, what have you done to inject some stimulus? I know you mentioned some of those things just now, but you can maybe um, elaborate some more. Uh, physical discipline is the very first and at the, and at the hub or heart of whatever we're doing. We have streamlined the processes. We have, we have brought in a lot of transparency into the system. Our collection processes, our tax administration have been significantly improved. I can tell you, we have gone past the area where you have too many MDAs chasing just a, a business center for tax collections. We have them properly detailed with respect to all the items that are involved as it concerns those, in, those uh, um, business centers. And they are sent to them and they pay in bits and pieces. People can now, business people can now work out their cash flow work out their cash flow, or align their cash flow to their payment of taxes. Um, in terms of collections, well, for IGR, we are, we are, we are clearly uh, 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 very well structured. Because unless you bring in those levels of transparency and accountability, you can't even have it. Anybody who is working in Delta State today, in the public sector, will tell you, well, they describe it as stinginess, but it's prudence. Who that is prudence? Our budget has year on year been low compared to when we were in surplus, and yet there's devaluation. But we're achieving, we're having a larger, better mileage with those budgets. The World Bank will always tell you that in terms of fiscal responsibility, Delta State is out there in space. Our budget has been that of a budget of discipline, and we adhere very strictly to our budget processes and procedures. And that's at the very hard core of it. 
and all other institutions, whether allied, independent, are also keyed in to this policy of transparency, prudence, and because we are one government and we are working towards the achievement. We need every resource that we have today, especially to drive our youth in particular. And then we are not going to go back on it. And we are very confident okay. that we will achieve um, uh, our objective. Yes. All right. And what do you have to say to those who are skeptical about the Worry Development Agency? And they ask, isn't it creating another bureaucracy just to address urban development? And what has been the success uh, of that agency, has the objective been met, the Worry Development Agency? Yes, um, it is not a bureaucracy. In fact, we want to free up ourselves from the pangs of bureaucracy and brands of bureaucracy that we see in the public and civil service today. What we have tried to do is to create entrepreneurship in bureaucracy. Entrepreneurship means that you bring in people who can exercise their discretions and initiative to achieve results. Budget implementation, program implementation is the biggest challenge that you have in this environment. You can create all the, all the policies you can think of, but if you cannot create a, a framework through which or upon which, or a vehicle upon which implementation will be carried out, you'll be bogged down by the traditional bureaucracies. What you see in weather, uh, where we're a development agency. It's something we have done in Delta State Capital Territory <coughs> Development Agency. It's a replica of what we're doing. And as I can tell you, if you are left it to Minister of Works or, or for them to implement, you will still have the critical uh, bureaucracy that has bogged us down over the period. This time we have very responsible agency focusing on the critical areas, specific areas. They are not taking over the entire job of Ministry of Works. We're looking at the storm drainage, be able to enforce policies, laws. People who have violated uh, uh, town planning regulations, building on, 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 on um, um, water lines, drainage lines, uh, flood lines, have been relocated. And it takes extra guts, not bureaucratic guts, to get them out of the way. I can tell you that they have done so far in excess of 41 kilometers of drains in that environment on just about 13 kilometers of roads. And that is just within the uh, worry environment for the short period that they have started. And I can tell you that they will do many more, especially as we get into get closer to the, to the dry season. Okay. Well, because that is when thank you. we truly do quite a bit. Kinsley yes. Emu, uh, Chief Economic Advisor, thank you for giving us the update on the situation in Delta State.